Well, good afternoon, Fancy Farm. It's great to be back in West Kentucky. Thank you, St. Jerome's Parish, for putting on a wonderful event. Mark Wilson and the organizing committee for their hard work, and the great people of Fancy Farm Kentucky for hosting us today. As a lifelong fan of Kentucky politics, it is an honor to stand on this famous stage as your new Commissioner of Agriculture. And for that, I just want to say thank you, Kentucky, especially West Kentucky, for the opportunity to serve you today. I'm glad to see that Hillary Clinton sent a surrogate. Thank you, Senator Hagan, for coming. Unfortunately, this just shows how out of touch Hillary Clinton is with Kentuckians, that she had to find somebody who represented Duke University to come to our state because Christian Leitner apparently wasn't available. When I was here last year, this stage was as packed as Rupp Arena, but this year there is a noticeable absence. So why aren't the Democrats here? Is it because they just wrapped up a heated Democratic National Convention that still pitted two candidates against each other? One of those candidates, a full-blown socialist, and the other one, Bernie Sanders. But I'm a farm boy, and every farmer knows that they deal with facts and numbers. So here are some facts and numbers that explain why the Democrats have given up on West Kentucky. 250,000. That's the number of newly registered Republicans in Kentucky since Obama took office. 8,000. 8,000. That's the number of Kentucky coal jobs lost since Obama took office. However, it is a great time to be Republican because of these facts. 1.2 billion. That's the number of dollars that conservatives set aside for Kentucky retirees this year. 8,741. That's the number of new jobs since Governor Matt Bevin has been in office. And three. Three, the number of historic firsts that Republicans have recently accomplished. The first Latino elected legislator, Dr. Alvarado. Two of the youngest statewide elected officials in the country with Allison Ball and myself. And the first African American ever elected to statewide office, Janine Hampton. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you. As you can tell, it is a great time to be Republican. And for the folks watching at home, now is the time to join us. Please consider changing your party registration to the GOP because we are the party of inclusiveness, we are the party of diversity, and we are the party of the future. Now let's work together and make this November a red November for Kentucky. Thank you very much.